I'm incredibly humbled to have been awarded the EGU Stefan Müller Medal for contributions to tectonics and structural geology. I believe that this is the first time that the medal has been awarded to one of Stefan's namesakes. Let me start by saying that I would not claim to be any sort of structural geologist. I'm very much on the side of tectonics and probably only deserve half the medal. I'd like to thank my nominators, especially Nicolas Flamand and the EGU Tectonics and Structural Geology Division for this honor. I was once asked to describe in three words how I got to where I am. The answer is, go west twice. My academic journey has had some similarities with that of Stefan Müller. I was also born in Germany, but in the northernmost state of Schleswig-Holstein, while Stefan was born in Bavaria. Both of us spent time at oceanographic institutions in the US, Stefan at Le Monde, working with Morris Ewing, while I did my PhD at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, working with John Slater and David Sandwell. Stefan went back to Europe, while I kept on moving west, to Australia. Both of our careers were very much underpinned by international cooperation. But unlike Stefan, whose work was focused on seismic imaging and lithospheric structure, I developed a fascination with global plate tectonics and particularly the ocean basins. This direction was kick-started by my undergraduate mentor, Jörn Tiede, at the University of Kiel, who sent me to the US to work with John Slater to build a global tectonic and paleo-depth framework for ocean basin evolution, a task that ended up keeping me busy for more than three decades and set the course for the rest of my career. While I was a PhD student, I was also inspired by Paul Wessel and Walter Smith, who had started building the open-source GMT software, which was already incredibly useful over 30 years ago. I realized that open science is the key to forming global research teams and advancing studies of the Earth system. This is particularly the case for global tectonics and understanding the connection between plate motions and the convecting mantle. As a consequence, I spearheaded the development of the G-Plate software with my friend Mike Gurness at Caltech, supported by the fantastic Oscope National Collaborative Research Infrastructure in Australia. G-Plates and its companion Python library PyGplates have underpinned and aided countless research projects around the world, and many of the authors involved have in turn made their tectonic models available to the public, allowing the community to build better and more detailed models as time goes by. None of this would have been possible without the long-term support by the University of Sydney and the Australian Research Council, who deserve special recognition. Lastly, I'd like to thank my wife and research collaborator Adriana, whose enthusiasm for understanding the sedimentary history of the oceans has led to a range of new applications at the interface between tectonics and sedimentology. Teamwork has underpinned my entire career, and the Stefan Müller Medal is really a recognition of the amazing Earthwide Research Group and all my students, postdocs and collaborators in academia and industry with whom I have worked over the years. Thank you 